When, when we identify the pupils, we then have a look at how they progress in school, what their attendance is like, um, are they organised with their homework, with their classwork, and then it depends on the, the, the individual themselves where, whether we need to go in with direct support or whether it's just a case of monitoring from the outside, possibly without the pupil knowing. Um, and it could be monitoring levels, are they hitting their targets, are they at, is the attendance where it should be, and if it is, it's celebrating that with the pupil, uh, and, and, and just that might be enough. Or, if things are dipping off, it's then right. You know, we've identified this, we're a little bit concerned, we now would like to support you by offering um, possibly work in the Key Stage Centre, making staff aware that things might not be quite right at home, so, you know, that they might give an extra day or two with homeworks, etc. But it, it, it's just to raise the awareness, but, it, but it's monitoring all those aspects then away from exactly what's going on in the classroom. And that depends totally on the individual it does, again, yeah. doesn't it? So it, we haven't got like a blanket response to anything. It's very much on an individual mm -hmm. needs basis, I think, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it, it's making sure that enough information goes across, that the support is there, but then the, we, we don't want possibly some information getting out which might be detrimental to that child as well or the family. So it, it, it's treading carefully and if we ask my staff to keep a close eye on you know, a certain person, we would then accept or be looking for feedback off that member of staff regularly, whether it's to the key stage centres um, or the head of year. Um, I think that's because we've got a strong pastoral element to the school that the, the, the staff are aware that we will be working in those kind of circumstances. So that's what they expect of us, isn't it? And know where our lines are with confidentiality. And again, it's on an individual basis. When we think of staff really need to know pretty much all the information, we would pass that information on. But it is you know, one different from one from the other. So. The ones I'm thinking of are the ones who possibly haven't gone as far as LRSP, but we've had school nursing, we've had the, the parents and we've had the youth worker in um, and the concerns were about attendance, the amount of um, work they had to do when they weren't with us in school and it's then supporting that child by reducing their timetable because they couldn't cope with, you know we're talking going on to key stage four now when you're looking at doing BTECs and GCSEs, couldn't cope with the full timetable, reducing it down um, and then offering the support then of, of our inclusion room in school where um, during the spare lessons they could go there and work on their, their, their other um, subjects as well. And then the support then would come internally from our pastoral support officer who was there to you know, guide them through what they needed to do for the other subjects. But the pressure isn't as the, on there for, as in somebody with a full time table. And that depends totally on the individual does, again, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah.